So when going through this, um, we have this statement. We talked about the truth. Here's a statement. If two angles are congruent, then they are vertical angles. So the inverse. Inverse is think about the opposite, OK? Inverse, the opposite. So all we're going to do with that is if two angles are not congruent, then they are not vertical angles. All right? Then let's go and look at the converse. So if two angles are not congruent, then they are not vertical angles. And that's what I'm trying to say. Is, is it possible for you to have two angles that are not congruent, um, then they are not vertical angles? Well, if you look at that, then you can go with converse. The converse is just when you sw swap the P and the Q. If they are vertical angles, If they are vertical angles, then they are congruent. All right? So, so when you're dealing with the converse, all you're doing is you're swapping the P and the Q. When you're dealing with inverse, Romello, what you're doing is you're taking the gate and the negation, the negation of P and the negation of Q. And when you take the contrapositive, the contrapositive is a mixture of inverse and, and converse. You take the negation of both of them, and you also swap them. So therefore, if they are not vertical angles, then they are not congruent. And, and ladies and gentlemen, Remember, this also goes into our logically equivalent statement. If you guys remember, we said that a number, a, uh, a conditional statement and it's contrapositive, there's going to be a logically equivalent because if they are not vertical angles, so you don't have vertical angles, does that mean they are not, you can't have congruent angles? No, you can have congruent angles that are not vertical, right? What about corresponding angles? We talked about those. Corresponding angles, those are congruent angles, right? They're not vertical, though. So you can see that this is, again, false. And that's why your contrapositive and your conditional statement are what we call logically equivalent. If one is false, then we know that the other one is false. And you can see that these two, um, if they are not vertical angles, if they are vertical angles, then they are congruent, which we know that's true. And therefore, also the inverse is going to be true as well. OK? There you go. OK. So 